personally feel that that I'm a painter and um, you know, I make a lot of prints, but um, you know I, I, I don't think it matters. Um, you know, obviously a multiple image is going to be a print, um, but the print may have uh, a lot of hand painting. It may have um, a lot of things that are different from print to print uh, that make each print maybe a little bit uh, unique. But, um, you know, I take responsibility for the consistency of the edition, and I think, you know, if I don't like a particular impression, you know, then it's not in the edition of prints. But, um, you know, obviously these new works are, are paintings, and they were always intended as such. They're not multiples. They're... Um, I mean, there's nothing about them that is, is printerly. Well, I think the, the most significant movement in, in painting uh, probably was the abstract expressionist movement. Um, it's, it sort of freed up painting. There were, you know, people like Jackson Pollock allowed you to do uh, so many other things with painting than just uh, recreate a landscape or perhaps uh, create a mood with the impressionist painters. Um, you know, field painting is a direct uh, descendant of abstract expressionism, and um, yeah, without people like Pollock and and uh, Robert Motherwell, that that just wouldn't have, would never have happened. I think black is 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 the purest color. I think it's um, you know it's the most complex color. You know, being composed of of all the other colors. Absorbing all the light, um, it offers you uh, the ability to talk about you know, certain subjects and um, moods, and it sort of evokes uh, you know, different feelings that that just are not possible with any other colors. This paper is uh, mulberry paper. It's made in Japan. It's um, you know, Kozo paper, it's, uh, people usually refer to it as rice paper, but that's really a misnomer because uh, I don't know of any paper that's made out of rice. Well, I think the influence of Eastern culture in my paintings um, basically comes out of a couple of things. One is that I think any time you use um, the, you know, these oriental papers, I think you've got to address them in a manner that's appropriate. Um, you know, I think a super realist painting on, on these papers would be completely out of line. I think you've got to, you know, use some of the way, use some of the techniques, maybe use some of the, the structure, the, the vitality, the, the sensibilities, I think, really, that, um, you know, they've been using with this type of paper for uh, hundreds of years. And uh, you just can't ignore it. I'm not sure where these paintings lie, if these are field paintings or pattern paintings or abstract expressionist paintings or, or what they are. But um, uh, I can tell you that, that the important thing for me is, is not classifying these paintings, but just making them.